Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 9th, 2023. So let me give you an update on the offerings. I am not doing live events right now. I don't know if I'll pick that back up. If I do, I will let you know. The live offerings that I have are personal readings, a one-on-one, -on -one, one hour course on how to connect with your angels, absolutely tailored to you, and also an angelic mediumship course where I actually teach you angel mediumship, right? So that is a course of four one-hour classes. We can schedule those as is convenient for our schedules. Well, for, convenient for you, but <laughs> what works with our schedules is what I meant to say. Now I am, as of the recording of this video, ahead of schedule on the standard readings. So let's be clear. If you want to get a standard reading, you can go to angelsouls444.com. I have those over there. If you want one of the live offerings, you and I have to go back and forth a little bit on scheduling. So just email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. Now, we have had this massive, we're not doing uh, groups this week again. So just hang with me here because we just have a big message coming through. So a lot of things have opened up. And now things are sort of cracked open and this week will be kind of the clearing away. So if something has not been working, if something has been, you know, an obstacle in the way, whatever, okay, you probably saw the uncomfortable truth last week, or it doesn't have to be like strictly last week, but recently you've probably seen the uncomfortable truth. And now this will be the week where that stuff is sort of crumbling away. Whatever needs to go, let it go. All right. So the first card that we have here is Page of Earth, Scholarly, Dependable, Patient, Successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So this is a fresh start in a way, going in a direction that might make you feel like you're the new person for one, but also just having uh, another chance, another shot at something. Now, because Earth, that's pentacles, right? So it has to do with money. So again, this could be a job opportunity where you feel like you're starting over or you're realizing, even if I have to learn, because I think some of you out there, you don't want to try something new because you might be saying to yourself, well, I have so much time invested in this job, in this relationship, in this dynamic, or I've tried so hard to heal, you know, this, that, and the other. There's another chance here. There's something that kind of makes you hop stories, right? <laughs> so like if you're going this direction and, you know, things are just not working out, there could be an opportunity here. Now, again, the page you know, is starting out, just starting out, right? So there might be a little bit to learn around that. And that's okay, because we have Queen of Earth, thoughtful, creative, warm, sensible. Make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. You know what this is telling me? Uh, a couple of layers here. So this shows a quick evolution to me. Like maybe you're the new person, but as you get into a new situation, you fall in really quickly. You're able to progress very quickly. The other thing that this makes me think of is having to deal with young, you know, some young people, some of you who have kids, um, there might be something around their stability coming up and you're helping them handle it. Again, I'm just reading like what I feel the energy is coming up around this. So for some of you too, I mean, you might feel like you're the kid and someone has to give you some guidance. All right. But regardless, it's a week to be very grounded. Okay. Because there's going to be a lot The tensions are going to be running high. People are not, especially if they haven't done their spiritual work, they're not going to be able to handle things that well. And that can make other people be affected by that. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, so just try to keep it grounded on your end of things. All right. Look at all this earth. Now we have 10 of earth. This could be something with the economy too, but we'll see. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. So some of you are getting this fresh start. Maybe you're coming into your own and there is fulfillment here. Okay. Lots of fulfillment. And it's, it feels like it's the end of an era. It's the end of a situation. Okay, something that may have kept you stuck potentially for years. Maybe now you're finally willing to look at it, of course, with the proper support. Or maybe some of you are 
allowing yourself to step into your power. Can I say that? I know that sounds a little cliche, but, but some of you may have been kept small or someone didn't want to see you succeed. So they were constantly just trying to keep you devalued and all of that. And you're saying, no, no, I'm moving on. I'm going to step into my potential. I'm going to allow myself to be happy. I'm going to allow abundance and prosperity to come through. And no, you can't shake me. Right? All right. Okay. <laughs> we have some massive changes this week. Okay. Ace of Fire and an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So there's a very obvious message around careers or what you do day to day right? How you show up in your life, what you contribute to this world. And this is creativity. This is life force. This is get the heck out of my way. Right? So some of you are breaking free, maybe even of like a deep, deep, like pattern that you have of allowing where you shouldn't allow or allowing people into your energy field who don't deserve to be there. And once you do that, once you cut those ties, Everything takes off. Suddenly you step back into who you are. Suddenly there are really great opportunities coming forward. Suddenly you feel like you're coming back to life. Now, I'm not promising that that's going to be easy because again, if other people are not in this place, they'll want to, you know, do everything they can to pull you down so you match their energy. And, uh... You know, sometimes they can get you, like I say, you know, if you have like a little dip down this week, trying to break some patterns, that's okay. It's more about your rebound time. Like if you get down and you stay down, then you lose, right? Uh, if you get back up, take as much time as you need. But once you get back up, you reinvent yourself and you keep it moving, right? Okay. Let's get the color card here. Gold. Oh, there's freedom this week. Okay, gold, attract abundance. The number is 21. You've had, and this reduces to three, so there's a lot of wisdom behind this as well. You're going to wake up to yourself. There is something, some, um, it could be like being stuck in a rut too. You know what I'm saying? Like stuck in a rut. Um, you can't really see what's coming up ahead. Everything has potential to change this week. Make sure you're tapping into that beautiful higher frequency energy. Now you're going to have imitators. You're going to have people who are like, oh yeah, we'll see what I can do, blah, blah, blah. And they're going to fall flat on their faces because they're not working with a light heart. Do you know what I mean? They're not working from a pure space. This is angel energy here. Angels of God's purest love and light. That's what you can say to make sure that you're not um, attracting in beings or whatever that, <laughs> that we don't want in here, right? So... I think this could potentially be a really beautiful week of opportunity. But remember, we started off with the page. And the page, in my mind, and in this situation, he's the first step from having let go. And again, people aren't going to let you let go very easily. And uh, you just have to remember it's because they don't want to evolve and they want to keep you where they are. So you're not accepting that, right? You're allowing yourself to evolve and it seems like there's a major payoff here. And the payoff doesn't have to be with money. I mean, it could be money, but this is more of getting your power back, feeling, not having your energy drained constantly because people are feeding, you know, who don't want to create their own light. This is you retaining that, that energy for yourself and being able to really craft something beautiful. Okay, so if you want to find out more, again, I leave all of the information in the description box. I'm doing stuff all over the place, so <laughs> check there. Again, reach out to me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me live, uh, we do it via Zoom. Or if you want to get a standard reading, angelsouls444 at g... No, I lied. angelsouls444.com for standard. The Gmail is for the live stuff. Okay. So we will leave it there. Have a beautiful week, guys. Take care.